Welcome back, everyone. I'm so excited to see so many of you back for the last week of learning about being with Jesus. Did anyone get a chance to stop and practice solitude last week? How did it go? I did. I really liked it. Yeah? How long could you go, Red? I went for a whole minute. It was hard, but I was able to think about God and those verses afterwards. Well, good for you for trying. If you didn't get a chance to try and stop for solitude this week, it's not too late. You can always try next week or any time. Now, I have a question for you, Red. What is your favorite holiday? Uh, Halloween, duh! Candy <laughs> and costumes! Yeah, and there's always all that fun, spooky, scary stuff in the stores, right? Yeah, what is that all about? Well, actually, around when Jesus was alive, people used to be very afraid of ghosts and spooks. They thought that everything was haunted and that ghosts were coming with the cold weather and the short days. So they'd wear costumes to hide from evil spirits. Some of those costumes are really scary, like a hand missing. Oh, yeah, that's not very useful, is it, to be missing a hand? Nope, and pretty icky, too. <laughs> Did you know that the Bible actually talks about that? The Bible talks about hands missing? Well, not exactly, but it does say that the church is the body of Christ and that each one of us has a role to play. Hmm, I wonder what body part I am. Well, maybe you are the funny bone because you make us laugh. <laughs> I got a funny joke. What made the skeleton laugh? I don't know, Red. What made the skeleton laugh? Someone tickled his funny bone. <laughs> <laughs> a good one. We know that our body parts are pretty useless if they're not attached. Did you know that some of your body parts are actually still good for a little while after they come unattached? A finger or toe lasts about 12 hours apart from the body. An arm can go for six hours, your ears or nose about a day. And the foot can go about six hours if it's not attached. It sure doesn't last long. I'm not going to lose any body parts anytime soon. Well, remember that we kind of lose body parts every day. Our biggest organ is our skin. And we shed small flakes of skin every day, all day. We also cut off our hair and trim our finger and toenails. For all of the parts of the body to stay alive, they must be connected to the body. Sure, you can cut your hair off, it's still hair, but it's not living or growing or healthy or alive anymore. Oh yeah, I didn't think about those. Hair and nails are alive? <laughs> they sure are. They grow as long as they're attached. For a Christian to be growing in their faith and spiritually healthy, they need to be connected to God and connected to each other, just like the parts of the body are connected. Imagine if we were just one big eyeball or one enormous hand. That wouldn't be a body anymore. It would just be an eyeball or a hand. Wouldn't it be funny if the eye said to the hand, I don't need you, or if the head told the foot, sorry, buddy, you're fired. That wouldn't make any sense. Everything is important and everyone is important and has a job to do. Even the funny bone? <laughs> Even the funny bone. By the way, did you know that the funny bone isn't actually a bone at all? It's a nerve called the ulnar nerve that tingles or prickles when you bump into something. When you bump that nerve against the long bone in your arm, it doesn't hurt or do any damage. It just feels strange or funny. You might even say it's kind of humorous. Oh, the arm bone humorous. Not the jokes again, Red. We're going to play a quick game of true or false. And then if it's true, do a jumping jack. And if it's false, do a push-up. So everyone stand up. Are you ready? One. We all have a job to do. Yeah, of course that's true. We don't need anyone else. <laughs> Good job, Red. Yeah, of course we need other people. 
How about, we should care about other people's problems? Yeah, that's right, Red. We should care. That's true. Some church members are more important than others. Ooh, good call, Red. No, of course not. We're all important. That one's false. I'm glad I'm a part of the body of Christ, and I'm glad I have a church that I can go to each Sunday. Well, me too. We get a lot of bad news in the world, and sometimes we need to go to church and make sure we remember all the good news and the best news that we'll ever hear. That Halloween is coming and we get free candy? <laughs> no, Red, that Jesus died for our sins and rose again. I know, I know. I was just kidding. <laughs> Well, thank you everyone for being here and learning all about the habits of Jesus. In our groups, we're going to talk about how uh, Jesus made a church and made it a habit throughout his whole life. Since Jesus is our Savior, it's comforting to know that he will always be what we cannot be, which is a perfect, loving God. Thanks, everyone. Bye. <laughs>